All right, now this quest is a little difficult to find because this uh, the con artist here will only show up, I believe, around 5:30 or 6:30 in the morning outside the sewer gate. Now he's going to tell you to go into the sewers and get a family ring that he's been trying to get to for a while. Now, of course, since this guy is uh, a con artist, you're clearly going to be cheated out of this. But you do get to keep whatever else is in in the crypt. But it's it's still a good quest, and you can still you can not really get cheated that much if you do what I do. And I actually found this out by uh, reading a text guide, which I'm basically using to help make this guide, just so I don't miss any quests or any of the uh, other things like the trophies or the sax cards. Now, in this crypt, there are going to be a lot of ghouls and other sort of... I believe they're called uh, necrophages. I'm not sure, don't... I suggest you just don't believe me on that one, but there are there are definitely a lot of ghouls. I believe there might be some ghouls and maybe some, even some graviers. Or graviers, uh, again, still can't quite pronounce uh, fantasy names. But uh, from the entrance in the temple quarter to the sewers, the uh, the place you need to go to is actually right behind, uh, is right beside the door. I kind of didn't, wait, is it? Uh, I can't tell from that map. I think it is right behind me and I just can't see it. But, um, yeah, if you put on quest tracking, you can actually see exactly where you need to go and um, the ring that you're looking for is actually really close to the entrance but I suggest uh, getting the ring on your way out and uh, coming back another day when it's still considered dangerous outside you'll find out when I actually do it um, whenever you go into a cave or a dungeon I suggest drinking a cat potion just because like you saw me drink that and look how much brighter it got just from that one potion and it lasts a very long time like it lasts like six hours or something or game hours six hours in game so in this first room I get attacked by I think about three graviers just because I triggered a couple more down the hall by kinda of pushing this guy back and I didn't mean to use the fire spell, it's um... Alright, I should mention this earlier, is um... The uh, recording hotkey I used is actually a key that changes uh... What spell you are... You can use. So I click, uh... I believe is the equal sign on my computer, which actually... Moves down the spell list. And I didn't... So if you ever see that, that's just me uh... Hitting the record button, pretty much. Or it could me, or it could be me just fiddling with the spells. It doesn't really matter that much. But uh, you do have to watch out what spell you're using because you might use fire, or the shield spell, or the trap spell, or the hex when you mean to when you mean to use the like the the force push. Yeah. Well, the enemies in here aren't too bad. They're pretty simple, and there's not many of them. It's mostly those three and a few ghouls that might be hanging around. Now take the skulls from the uh, Graviers. Because uh, there's a notice board quest for them in the next chapter. And having a few does help. Well you only need, you need five of them for next chapter. And I think I find exactly five uh, skulls. In this chapter. So in the next one I just take them out of storage. And I'm already done that quest. Which is extremely useful. There's also another one for ghoul blood in the next chapter, and I've saved up plenty of that from the last couple. Yeah. But, um, when you find the family ring and you give it to the con artist. Uh, he doesn't he doesn't openly say you've been ripped off and kind of laugh in your face He just says I finally got the ring and a lot of my men had to die for this The girl just kind of goes what? 
So at that point, he realizes he's been ripped off. And um, if it's still considered dangerous outside, that's when you see the uh, the claw marks over the uh, the little day-night cycle thing beside the minimap. You can actually pull out your sword and just kill the con artist and take your ring back altogether. Nobody's gonna stop you. Nobody's gonna try. And, like there's there's gonna be no negative consequences for doing this. So I suggest doing it, just because the ring also sells for $120, which is very helpful. Now, um, when when you try to uh, kill him, pretty much, he is also going to be running back to his house. So if he goes inside, you can't get at him again. So if you if you really want to kill him that badly, then um, save before you hand in before you give him the ring, because he might just make it out or get away. He might just get away from you. Uh, he did that to me once because I talked to him very close to his house if you talk to him by the sewer gates you can probably kill him on the staircase uh, leading up to the uh, the main area where you can the main path or so where you can get to his house but this is a pretty simple mission there's nothing too complicated about it and I mean, by this point in the game, it should be pretty easy uh, to kill off ghouls and, well, not gravies, they're fairly tough, but you only fought those three, and if you run around this room, you can kill some ghouls, and I think there's something you can take in this room, I'm not entirely sure, but um, just remember, I decided to kill the uh, con artist because he cheated me, and... I don't like that, plus I, I really need the money, so I will actually just see you in the next video and just watch and see how it actually goes when you kill off the con artist. Uh, see you later. Witcher! Here's your ring. I'm keeping the rest. As agreed. My foolish comrades died while I survived. What are you talking about? None of your concern. Bye.